Hi, my name is Mike Clem and I'm Director of Marketing here. And today, we're going to talk about SantaGuard. If you're using this video training in your office, make sure you have everything you need. Product, the brochures, an overview, study guide. What is SantaGuard? SantaGuard is a fast drying surface sanitizer. Kills germs within 45 seconds. Is EPA registered as a sanitizer? It's also non-conductive. It's safe for food contact surfaces and other non-porous surfaces such as fabrics and electronics. SantaGuard comes in four different put-ups. First would be an aerosol can that's 10 ounces, 12 in a case. An aerosol can that's 0.75 ounces, 12 in a case. That's a personal sized can. We also have it in a fogger, 12 in a case for an 8 ounce can. And then a small fogger, which is a 3 ounce can, 12 in a case. How do we want to use it? Best places to use it is on hot spots. That's kind of the term in the industry. Examples of hot spots would be door handles, telephones, keyboards and mouse, and also TV remotes. Instructions on how to use the product with the aerosol cans. Hold the container away from the surface to be sprayed, six to eight inches. You want to go a little bit further away, 10 to 12 inches on the smaller can and spray for three to five seconds. You don't have to overdo it. Allow surfaces to air dry. A couple demos we can show is one is a wristwatch where we spray on the wristwatch, touch the wristwatch, and you'll see that it comes out dry. Also, we have a paper demo where you spray Santa Guard on one half of the paper, the competition on the second half of the paper, and you'll see how much, again, our product is dry. Again, surfaces that are considered hot spots that are important. Keyboard, mouse, door handle and exercise equipment would be some good examples. On our foggers, one of the neat things about our foggers is you don't have to pick up any papers or miscellaneous items. The product does dry almost immediately, so there's no need to wipe down afterwards either. You want to wait at least 15 to 20 minutes before returning to the room after you've turned the fogger on. The 8 ounce fogger treats 625 square feet and a 3 ounce fogger treats up to 125 square feet. We're going to talk next about different kinds of accounts that you're going to be able to sell SantaGuard into. First off is healthcare. Healthcare, you have waiting rooms, restrooms, patient rooms, offices, and even ambulances have done, uh, we've done a really good job with ambulances too. The hot spots, the key spots we want to make sure we're uh, sanitizing would be charts, stethoscopes, door handles, computer keyboards, and mouse. Another place we've had a lot of success with SantaGuard is in uh, education, both K through 12 and higher education. Again, some key areas would be locker rooms, nurse's office, gymnasium, classrooms, school buses, restroom, and even in, in college dorm environments. The hot spots in education you'll find, again, door handles, water fountains, lockers, gym and athletic departments, and also toys and games if you're going with uh, maybe kindergarten classes or preschool classes. Now, Santa Guard's also been uh, sold very uh, well and we've had success with it in the workplace. In workplace, you have lobbies, conference rooms, break rooms, kitchens, cafeteria, and restrooms. Some of the key hot spots with Santa Guard in the workplace, computer keyboards, mouse, phones, calculators, and door handles. Food service, because it is a sanitizer, SantaGuard is safe for food surface areas. You have dining rooms, restrooms, offices and kitchens, just to name a few areas for food service. Hot spots, again, countertops, prep stations, equipment, cash registers, electronics, tables and chairs. Next we're going to talk about the hospitality industry, again with hotels, uh, we've had a lot of good success with SantaGuard. In lobbies, workout facilities, restrooms, and conference rooms. Some of the key hot spots to use Santa Guard in the hospitality industry would be TV remotes. One of my personal favorites, I always carry a small can of Santa Guard and spray that TV remote. Telephones, furniture, bedspreads, carpet sanitizing, and door handles. Some other examples of where we've had success with Santa Guard. One is workout facilities. Uh, we have you know, businesses that are set up, to, people come in to work out and weight, weight lift and what have you. And we've had a lot of success uh, selling Santa Guard as fogger and also as surface sanitizing in those facilities. We also have 
couple pro sports teams that are using Santa Guard currently. We have one pro football team that is actually using the small three ounce fogger in their individual uh, locker areas. And then we have another team that just built a new stadium this year that actually has used Santa Guard and all the little uh, what I call eating, eating nooks uh, where they sell hot dogs and hamburgers and they're actually using Santa Guard in those areas. One of the things we want to talk about too, out in the field, real life, is overcoming objections. Uh, I want to talk about you know, kind of fact versus fiction on this. One is disinfecting and sanitizing. This is a sanitizer. SantaGuard is a sanitizer. It's not a disinfectant. We, 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 we're very upfront about that. We have to, uh, you know, it's a registered sanitizer at the EPA. The difference is disinfectants and sanitizers, for one, sanitizers can be used in food surface areas where disinfectants cannot. Also, even though it is a sanitizer, we do have efficacy data of all the things SantaGuard kills. In other words, we've had the same independent type lab studies done on SantaGuard, so we can show your customers exactly what does SantaGuard kill in the efficacy data. Another example I'd like to talk about is uh, a lot of people are very familiar with alcohol-based hand sanitizers, like, like a Perel, for instance. Well, SantaGuard is like a Perel for surfaces, same kind of thing. You have the alcohols and it dries quickly. So one way I like to explain is it might help you if you think of it as a, as a sanitizer, kind of like a Perel for surfaces. Next we're going to talk about H1N1. Obviously this year it's been a big discussion since the springtime with the first outbreak of H1N1. Um, H1N1 is a subset of influenza A. So basically if a product has efficacy data that it kills influenza A, it also kills H1N1. The EPA has an active ingredient list on their website. You can go there and check it out. And Sanigard has two quaternary ammonias that are on this list. Alkai dimethyl benzol and didosol dimethyl ammonium chloride. Both of those items are on the EPA active ingredient list. So between that and also the fact we have efficacy data of exactly what Sanigard kills we can help out anytime your customers have any questions as far as our efficacy data, we have that information for them. Let's talk about price. This is a fairly common objection and I want to make sure you're comfortable with it so if it comes up with your customers. You want to review the features that we've discussed in this video. Why this product is worth more. Some examples of why it's worth more. It's a fast dry product, got great efficacy data of what it kills. It's safer and easier to use. As an example with the fogger, you don't have to put away papers, you don't have to put away computers or electronics, you can leave everything out when you use this product. We have customers that use this on their school buses. You don't have to go back onto the school bus and wipe down the windows or wipe down the, uh, the seats. Lots of good reasons why our product's better. It is worth more money. You should feel very, very comfortable when you're out talking to your customers and overcoming that objection. In closing, please feel free to use this video as a resource in your continuing education. Some of you may be asked to take a short quiz. We've covered everything you need to know for that quiz. You'll do fine. Please ask your local representative for more information if you have any questions at all. Thank you and good luck selling Santa Garden.